I'm Andy Brass, a Professor of Bioinformatics at the University of Manchester and I'd like to say something about what we're trying to achieve with this MOOC in Clinical Bioinformatics. We're now at the stage where we're beginning to understand how variation in the human genome affects human health. So 10 years after the human genome was first published, we're at the point where we can begin to move the science of genomics from a research space to a hospital space to make a real difference to patient care in areas like diagnosis, cancer care. Making sense of a genome though isn't easy, it's a lot of data. To make a diagnosis for a rare disease we might be looking for one base change out of the three billion bases in the human genome. To do that requires a marriage between computer science, machine learning and biology, a skill set not typically found in the NHS. That's why the profession of clinical bioinformatics was created, to help the NHS properly make use of the information there within the genome for patient care. My name's Kieran O'Malley. I'm one of the co-educators on the course and I work here at the University of Manchester based in the Centre for Health Informatics as part of the education team. Hi, I'm Ange Davis, a lecturer at the University of Manchester in clinical bioinformatics and genomics. We're making fast-paced advances in genomic medicine, creating huge amounts of genomic data, requiring a step change in how we analyse, interpret, store and share this information. So it's an exciting time for clinical bioinformaticians who will play a critical role in all of this data analysis before return of the final result back to the patient. We'll be studying this emerging profession in a bit more detail over the coming few weeks. Let's take a look at the course in a bit more detail. We'll start the course by learning more about genomic medicine and learn where clinical bioinformatics fits within this area of healthcare. In week two, we'll introduce variation in the genome, what it is, its effects, and how we begin to analyse and classify it within a clinical setting. Week three, we'll join into the detail of making sense of all of these clinical variants that are returned during genomic sequencing approaches. During week four, we'll focus on the ethical considerations and consequences of generating huge amounts of patient genomic data. And in week five, we'll bring together everything you've learned about so far to look at some final case studies. Things are beginning to get exciting. We're now at the point where the combination of bioinformatics and genomics can make a real difference to patient care. Clinical bioinformaticians are designing the IT infrastructure, data governance and pipelines to analyse all of this huge genomic data. They're responsible for interrogating the data quality to ensure the best possible results are returned to the patient. We've designed the course to ensure that you study real case studies where both genomics and bioinformatics are having impact right now. We look forward to working with you over the next few weeks and we hope that you enjoy the course.